Hi, I'm Bernie. In this video, I'm going to show you how to pay a partner or supplier in stablecoins. Stablecoins, such as USDC, are a digital currency much like Bitcoin or Ethereum. But they're different because their worth is tied to the US dollar. That means their value doesn't swing wildly, making them a great option when you want to make payments using a digital currency. Now, let's imagine you're a global fintech with payment partners in Asia. Your supplier has chosen to receive USDC, a well-known type of stablecoin, because of its speed and low cost. To help you do this, you have a multi-currency account set up with your fintech partner. That's us, BBNK. To make the payment, you log into your BBNK account and click Send. Enter the wallet address of your supplier, the currency and the amount you want to send. You will be shown any fees charged by your fintech partner. Now click Send. At BBNK, your safety is our top priority. That's why we require you to use two-factor authentication to approve any transaction. We also offer other ways to keep your account secure, such as setting transaction limits and having approved lists of safe accounts. All right, that's it. Your payment has been successfully submitted. Now let's click over to the Ethereum blockchain to see what's happening over there. Imagine the blockchain as a large digital ledger recording all payments. When you initiate a payment, a node, which is a computer, processes your request much like a mailman handles your post. In Ethereum, validators similar to accountants verify payment details and document them on the block, much like a page in our ledger. Other nodes review this block for accuracy before adding it to the blockchain. Once enough nodes, about 12, have confirmed the block, within approximately 5 minutes, your supplier receives the payment. Back in your account, the payment status is updated to paid and your wallet balance adjusted. It's as simple as that, you have now paid a supplier in stablecoins. By the way, you can also automate this process using an API. Feel free to explore them on docs.bbnk.com. We hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching and check out our other videos.